So in this tutorial we are going to be having a quick look at the WAX plugin Rotomate. Now Rotomate, as the name and the handy description down here rather suggests, let's my monitor a bit, um, is a rotoscoping or paint on the video with whatever you like um, tool, which does what it says on the tin really. Um, yeah, not much more to say about it, but we'll just have a look at how it works. So we'll just import some images here. I'm only I'm using images because that will help it render and such like a bit quicker as I do this demonstration. We're not going to do anything too complicated just to see how it works. Oh, that's quite a nice picture, isn't it? So, video plugins, Rotomate. Oops, we can drag and drop, and it handily brings up the Rotomate uh, control panel. So we have a paintbrush and we have an eraser. We can draw curves and rectangles and ovals and lines. We can edit any of those ones or we can transform any of those shapes. You know, move them about, making them bigger, smaller, whatever. So start off with paintbrush. Um, we have various uh, brush options here. We'll just you know, we'll just keep it as round and we'll keep it at size 25, I think, and this garish purpley color. And scribble. There we go. Nice and vandalized. Now, there is something of a problem, I think, um, with this. Both, and it's the same with um, paintbrush and the eraser tool. And that is now we've got this purpley bit here. Supposing we wanted to add this particular, this not unpleasant bluey greeny teal turquoisey sort of colour uh, onto this. So far so good. Release and yeah. We can only scribble on it one frame at a time and it's handily added the keyframe but the only way we can get around that is to add another rotomate and then scribble on it. But in my personal opinion, that is not particularly ideal. Because, I mean, for this example, that's fine, but, you know, I can easily envisage situations when you have, you know, five, six, seven, eight rotomates plugged into one video clip or um, one image uh, clip or whatever just to get the effect you want. And, See, as with a lot of things with wax, it's not a problem in and of itself, but I can see it becoming quite fiddly after a while. However, eraser, and we'll move it forward. Have a look at the eraser quickly, and we'll move it forward a frame. Um, and when we click and then scribble with the eraser, this purple bit should disappear, and a new keyframe should be created using the eraser. And... Ah, there we go. Isn't that handy? Now, the eraser, as the name rather suggests, erases whatever you happen to scribble upon. So, just a uh, look, we'll just drag and drop Nova, and there we are. Nice picture of Nova from the sadly defunct StarCraft Ghost game, uh, showing through in a sort of very ghostly, ironically enough, uh, ethereal sort of way. Uh, let's see, let's go on to the next one, okay. Uh, Oh yeah, smoothness. We'll have a look at the smoothness option now. At zero percent smooth, you get that sort of effect. Go on to the next frame. At minus one hundred percent smooth, it is completely solid. And at plus one hundred percent smooth, it is very well. I don't know, but as you can see, so just do another one. It is very, very faint. Now need to, if you wish, just add a gentle hue, or you can, you know, control how much of. Uh, if this was, for example, the razor. You know, gives you a slightly greater control over how much of what's behind you to see, and all sorts of fun things. Onion skin. Now, 
I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure what the point of this is. I mean, I know what onion skinning is. I'll just um, get something here up so we can see. I mean, onion skinning is a method of animation. So, just quickly scribble in a line there. So, it fades it out nicely enough. But the point of onion skin is that when you go to the next frame, that stays there so you can draw over it, making a slight alteration, but as soon as you click, it vanishes, you know? So, I, I honestly don't know quite what the point of onion skin is, because it doesn't do onion skinning in, so far as I understand the term. But what the hell do I know? So, just ignore that, I think. It, or, if you can find a good use for that, then please let everyone know. So we'll just get rid of that and we'll just add a fresh rotor mate as we move on to curves. Now, just make the border width 8 or something. Now, don't you flash at me. Curves, we have a nice outline colour, we'll use that one because I like that colour. Fill colour, something nice and gearish so we can see it won't affect the curve much, but so curve bang. and we have a nice S as you can see it however squiggly you make it it sort of smooths it out to make it well curvy which is quite nice of it and we'll just use this as an opportunity to check out the edit tool oh very quickly shapes which is what these are are handled differently as you can see to the paintbrush and the eraser the paintbrush and eraser are all on the same um, line, whereas the shapes get their own individual ones. So we're currently on this will be shape two, which you can edit in a ver edit and manipulate in a variety of ways. So you can have fun playing about with that. Transform shape moves it about bigger, smaller, and so on and so forth. It for that. Right, so we'll delete shape one, and we'll delete shape two. Uh, similar thing with rectangles. Now you notice we haven't got a fill here. That is because we have not set the closed option. If we have a closed rectangle, that will be filled in. Unclosed, uncheck it, and it's empty. Similarly for the oval shape. Now this option down here in the Rotomate drop-down is actually quite a bit of fun. Shapes as mask. Yep, you can just see it there, but if I make uh, close... oh for goodness sake. Select that one. That one, there we go. <laughs> we can have... yeah, quite some fun with well, if we were so inclined, keyframing animations to make them go round or whatever. Hmm. What shape is this? Do you know? That's all they be deleted. Ah, oh, there we are. That was shape two. That's useful. Tonight, so, so there we are. Okay, this is a bit off the cuff, I know, but um, well, while I'm here, I'll quickly show you an interesting feature of the interface. So instead of having, so supposing we did actually have five shapes, I can't see them for the life of me, but who knows? I'll probably cock something up along the way, and we want to try and keep them as close together as possible. See this little um, notch thing here? Let me get to that. Can't go can make it bigger, we can make it smaller. This works a bit better if you're on a got a larger resolution, but I'm keeping this to 800 by 600. Normally I'd use uh, 1280 by 1024, but um, I'm keeping it 8 by 6 just so I can have a slightly smaller <laughs> um, finished video file. But yeah, that works better and similarly for this. Epic Zoom in epic zoom out. So when you do end up with you know half a dozen 
or no, a few dozen uh, video timelines that hopefully should make it a bit easier to navigate. Yeah, I think that's about all I can say about Rotomate. Um, I'm not going to do, as I say, any major or interesting project for that. I'll leave you to have fun with that one. And I'll see you next time for a look at another video plugin.